Hi, welcome to Auntie Nat's Crochet. Today, we're going to make a teardrop hanging basket. I'm not sure why this is called a teardrop because water drop looks like this too. Okay, this particular basket, I use a 6mm hook. If you want to make it bigger, you use a bigger hook. If you want it to be smaller, you use a smaller hook. And the number of stitches is up to you. Later when I teach you, it's quite basic. This one is all just single crochet. All these are optional. But here, you make sure you we stitch it. I stitch it three times around so that when you hang it, it can hold the weight. Or you can just leave it on the table. Just hang it a bit but still lying on the table. Okay, for today, today's tutorial, I'm going to use a 10mm hook and some t-shirt yarn. This particular one, I did with a 6mm hook. So now I'm going to try with a 10mm hook and see how much bigger is it. And I'm going to change the pattern a bit. I'm not going to use single crochet. I'm going to use a special single crochet. Okay, let's start. We start by making a magic ring. Okay, inside the magic ring, we're going to make six single crochet. Okay, we have six single crochet in the ring. I'm gonna seal the ring. Okay, now, if you do not want to make the pattern I'm going to do now, you can actually do the normal single crochet but with the same uh, number of stitches and pattern. Okay, now we're gonna do an increase. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we're gonna do increase in each. So we're gonna get 12 stitches all around. The first one is gonna be like a normal single crochet. I add my marker. For the second one, it's gonna be an increase all around. So this is one. I need one more in the same stitch. What I did is, you see this loop here. I put through here and also the normal way of single crochet. I pull through both. I pull through both. You see, have two loops, and then just like normal, a single crochet. So here I have two, one, two. I mean, if here it get kind of confusing, count the top here, one, two. So I show you one more time. Here you will have two strand here, two strand of yarn here. Take this one together into the next loop pull it out pull together to make a single crochet so now I need two in the same stitch use this One, two, three, four. Because sometimes here it's cut 
kind of hard to see with this pattern so we count the top one two three four this one here pull through use this Two, four, six. Another two more in this stitch. Put through this. Do not pull too tight because this is t-shirt yarn anyway. It's stretchable, so you don't have to pull too tight. Remember to put through this before we do our normal, normal single crochet I hope by now you get the pattern not sure what this stitch is called but I call it the special single crochet okay so we did an increase already 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so all in we have 12 so now we go to row 3 Row 3, we're going to do a single crochet, one single crochet followed by an increase. Single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase. Don't forget this part. Single crochet. Single, increase, single, increase. Now a single.
all in, I'm supposed to get 18. Oh, I think I missed out one. Never mind. I will get back the 18. Here, I just want to show you what's the difference between here and here. Can you see? Can you see the difference? This is just a normal single crochet. This is the special single crochet. Okay, row three. Hang in there. I have to count my stitches again because I get it wrong. I need two more stitches. Okay, I've reached seven rows. This is the length, the depth that I want. If you want it to be deeper, you can make more rows. And if you want it to be bigger, make sure your base here is bigger. Just now the base here, I started with magic ring. One row of increase in each. And the second row is single crochet followed by an increase. Single crochet followed by an increase. So you make three, four, a few more rows of increase. Before you start this pattern, your basket is going to be wider, bigger. Mine is just three row, and I already started with this pattern. This pattern means three single crochet in one, followed by single crochet in the rest. It's just here expanding. The rest are the same, just single crochet. And I'm doing a special single crochet, not this type. This is the normal single crochet. Okay, now I have reached the tip. This is the last row. This is the row that I want to stop. Okay, so here I'm going to do the last stitch, the last single crochet. Once I reach here, I'm going to do the loop. I'm going to chain 10. I mean up to you how big is this you want to be and make sure you loop it back in the same stitch here with a slip stitch okay if you think this is too small you can make more chain but I prefer it this size so I make 10 chain chain 10 and here in front here, we are going to make decrease so that it will curve in like this. So depending how wide is your basket in the last row, so mine, so long is this, the opposite of this loop is here. So here, you're going to make decrease. So I guess it's about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's about seven, then I'll start to do decrease. Okay, now I continue with my single crochet. Oops. more 
Okay. Now we're gonna do a decrease. Wallow by a single crochet. So we did one set. Decrease single crochet. Now decrease single crochet decrease single crochet then you see how far is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We did a decrease, and so now okay. now should be single crochet. We just need a little bit of decrease right opposite of this. Maybe you do four or five, depending how wide is it. If it's very wide, then maybe you do six or seven. Okay, once we reach the tip here, I'm going to do single crochet all around this because this is too thin, it cannot hold the weight of whatever you're putting inside here. So we're make, gonna make this thicker so that you can hold your weight. Because just now I chained 10, so now I did 10 single crochet all around it. So you make sure it fits properly, if not you can make one more, one or two more. Okay, it looks just about right. And now here, we're gonna end this row with a slip stitch. Slip stitch all the way. I'm 
I might crochet some plant to put in this basket or pot or you can use it to put your stationery or a pot of plant slip stitch all around it looks like it got an edge a nice edge okay once we reach here because I want this to be tight you take this loop it over here and pull okay Here, in this part here, we're gonna gently wrap it, wrap it around. Once you reach this part here, you can use your hook to go get this yarn over. to the back and from here you can hook it back to the top and this way you're very sure it's locked properly And if you think that this is still not too, not thick enough to hold the weight here, you can actually, you can actually do slip stitch all around. Or you can do single crochet all around. Once you're here, pull it all out 
and hide this yarn inside here. So you just double check if this is okay with you. Is it thick enough to hold the weight? Okay. Once you are satisfied with this, if you still have oh, if you still have extra yarn, you can actually hide it inside here to a point here. You can actually make this if you want to. I just hide it all around here. Until you come to the front. Guess this way of hiding the tree is pretty secure. <laughs> Make sure it comes to the front. Oops. Come see me. Make sure it goes to the middle. Oh, I mean, it's up to you. Maybe you can make it at the side if you want to. What I did is, once I reach here, I just use my hand to curl it After a few curls, I'll tie it around You tie it with a knot Knot it nicely. Put it back. Okay, I've hide it all around here. So this part here, you just cut it. You're gonna have something like this. And there you have it, hang pot. So which one would you prefer? The normal single crochet or the one with this pattern? Well, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, I got it right this time. 18 stitches all around. Now row 4 is the time when we're going to start to make it take its teardrop shape. Here, the starting point here, we're going to do 3 single crochet in 1 and the rest are just 1 single crochet each and every time when we come back here, it's always 3 single crochet so here will expand, here will remain that's where you get the teardrop shape okay, so now we're going to do 3 in 1 Two, three, four, 
three, three single crochet in the same spot. Three single crochet in the same spot. I'm gonna add a marker here so that we know when we come back here we're gonna do three single crochet. The rest are just single crochet all around. We did three here. We did three here, so that's when I'm gonna put in the middle. We're gonna go upwards. So we're gonna expand on the middle in the middle part. So one, two, three in one. So we're gonna expand here three, three, three. So now we're gonna do single crochet all around. All in we have 18 stitches. So we did one. So now 17 more. The balance of the 17 is gonna be a single crochet. Don't forget to go through this loop. It's supposed to bend this way, eh? by now you can see clearly how I do this special single crochet I find for the hang basket this pattern is nicer compared to the normal single crochet okay when we, once we come to the marker make sure we do three single crochet in the same spot You will see this part will start to increase, will start to go up. Okay, it should be this way. So once you reach the marker, you do three single crochet in one. you have three make sure you put your marker in the middle one this is where we're gonna expand continue to expand and this is row four ah uh, sorry row I uh, completed row four so this is actually row five we need another two more row or depending on how big you want your basket to be but I'm gonna make two more row that is all in 
row 7 until row 7 the same manner single crochet all around and when you come to this marker do three single crochet in this this uh, stitch then you do single crochet all around when you come to the marker do three single crochet I'll come back to you once I'm at row 7